hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you're all having a fabulous day um this is a little bit different to what i normally film um so i have decided that i'm going to take part in a daily journal challenge um and colleen um i can't for the life of me remember her youtube channel um but if you're in the planning community i'm sure you've seen her dotted about in different places um but she posted in UK Planner Addicts, I think it was, about, uh, I think it's Willow Journals. Um, and she's got a Facebook group, YouTube channel. And she's basically, you know, a junk journal kind of thing. And I've been wanting to do it for so long. And I watch all of Colleen's videos and I love watching them. So hi, Colleen, if you're watching. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. So <laughs> I think I'm just going to jump in. So, what I've done is I made myself this little TN and it is far from perfect, but it's my first attempt, so I'm not mad at it. Um, it's like here, the glitter is just coming off a little bit, so I definitely need to sort that out. But I am using, let's get it out my simply gilded b6 inserts probably should have done this beforehand but you know there we go so this is just i've put two elastics in because i'm hoping to do another one um in april so this will house march and april so this is from the sweet box from Simply Gilded and I have a bunch of these um, but I've never used them so I'm just using them because it's what I've got. Um, some people are really creative with it but I was just doing this. <laughs> so I did round the corners um, because as you can see they are square but I prefer rounded corners and that's the only reason. So what I've done is I've pre-decorated most of this and what I want to use it for is to journal daily, so gratitude, memories, quotes, that kind of thing. So, um, <laughs> I've just written there what I was going to use it for. This is my dodgy handwriting, but I just wrote it out because I went to print it and my printer had run out of ink, so yeah. So, basically, it's to use a different planner supply every day or craft supply. So, number one was washi tape, and I used all of my favourite washi tape from Simply Gilded and I love all the rainbows and stuff. So that's what I've used and then I stuck in a little piece of card just to pop in my thoughts or whatever. And then day two was stickers and I am completely obsessed with the bow seals from Simply Gilded so we had to have one of them. Um, and then we have a bunch of florals and butterflies and self-adhesive gems. This little dog from, I think it was from a Christmas kit from Wendy Prince. I loved that dog, so that had to go in there. And again, I've just left a little place to journal. And then day three was paper. Um, so again, I used some washi tape just to decorate the top. And this is a paper bag that I just glued in and I'm just gonna like write in there. Day four was ink stamps. So I just did a little flag and my stamping, it needs some serious work. But I could read it and that's the main thing. And I've got a stamp and it says, there's always a reason to smile. And then I've put family, my dogs and hope. So I'm just gonna write maybe a nice little memory or something with my family and my dogs. And then maybe I'll put in a goal or something I want to achieve in there. Day five was envelope. And from one of my old pen pals, I think this is from Paper Chase. I may be wrong though. But she sent me this envelope. I was obsessed on the writing paper and I just love it so much. And then inside, I'm just going to write maybe a little letter to myself. Um, to read when I'm having a bad day or something and I think this paper is from snail mail, snail mail by Jodie but I think she's closed at the minute so but you know use what you've got 
and I had so much fun making this that's it now day six was a photo and I love this photo it's of me and Lexi um, me and my entire family went to Spain last year and the poor thing she was poorly the entire holiday and she just wasn't my friend. She wasn't anyone's friend, actually. She was just grumpy, and it was so, it was such a shame for her. But one of the days, she was all me, and I managed to get a little selfie with her. And as you can see, she looks so miserable, poor thing. Um, but I got her a favourite thing, strawberries, and she was happy to sit and cuddle with me. So, um, I've done it like this, because in the back, I maybe want to write about the memory or something. And then, day seven was paint chips so what i did um i had some paint chips um they're just like the little cards with the paint samples i think it is and i had a bunch of pink ones um all the same so i just cut little flags out of them and i stamped happy um, and did a little banner and then here i've just stuck in a little journal card and it says every day is a fresh start so maybe again i'll put something here and then <coughs> excuse me guys tie out was magazine and i got this like little polaroid out of a magazine it's like a polaroid sunset so i just stuck that on some paper stuck some washi down and again i'll just use it to journal now this i think is my most creative page um it was a napkin and ironically i'd i've been decluttering and i've chucked all my napkins and things like that away so i got a piece of kitchen roll got some markers and literally i colored the kitchen roll in and then i cut it out and stuck it in and i think it looks really cute um and then again i've just stuck something on to journal on now this page is staple so i'm just going to show you what i'm going to do i have again i love my flags um and then i stuck this die cut on and it says bow yeah and i love my bows if you watch me you know i love my bows um so i did this little flap and again i used the paper um that came with the envelope and i put a bunch of gratitude stickers in um and what i want to do is maybe get some pictures or something and pop them in and what i'm going to do is i'm going to staple the pictures in and yeah so that will be my staple page this was postage stamp um and i just ripped a stamp off one of my envelopes because i hoard my envelopes because i like to reuse them um and what i want to do is i want to record like maybe my favorite piece of happy mail or something um, I use this Happy Mail Washi from Simply Gilded and I made a little envelope and I stuck on a little Simply Gilded bow which I think is really cute and then I stuck in a piece of backing and this is the backing from a magnet from Simply Gilded but I thought it was really cute and then <coughs> excuse me guys um, what day is this oh Day 12 was bag and I've had this bag for the longest time. It's just a little cellophane bag. Um, and it, but it's so pretty. So I put a piece of white card in just so you can see. Um, it's just orange on the back. But yeah, so I just wanted to keep that. And again, I'll maybe put some photos in and memory keep. And then day, is this day 13? yeah day 13 was a journal card and i had a bunch of these journal cards because wendy whenever she sends our pr packs or my orders and um, we always get a journal card so i accumulated quite a few of these i have de-stashed them there though i've given them away in racks and stuff and um, but again i want a memory keep and i just tied some paper and stuck it in and then this day was die cuts. So I picked out a few of my favorite die cuts and I love this Slay the Day. And I just love it because it just tells me you can be your own knight in shining armor, you know. And of course, bows. <laughs> and what I did with this is I've got some alcohol ink pens 
and I coloured it in and it came through and I really liked the effect so again just another place to journal and this is the postcard and so let me show you it is a Disney postcard um, and again I used the backing of the paper that I got in my pen pal letter but I needed a bit of Disney and I just thought Tiana I love this artwork and I just thought it went really well because this is, I don't know, if this wasn't rainbow, it'd kind of remind me of like the 20s. So that's why. This date was book, but I, all my books and stuff I have, I love too much to rip up. So I couldn't do it. Um, and I didn't really want to go out to the charity shops to buy a book for like one page. So I've got a colouring book, um, a Game of Thrones one. So I found a castle. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head whose castle this is out of the film. I'm sure someone will know. But I cut it out and I thought that would be a nice take on the book page. Um, just because like this, pla this planner, this junk journal, I didn't want to go for the vintage look. So I just wanted to go like pastel and rainbows and bows. Um, but yeah, I really like how it turned out. And I'll probably colour this in. And then we have, this was the day of the doily. And if any of you saw my unboxing of the pink room car, a doily came in that. So I just cut it in half, stuck it down on some card. And I've got a bit of washi. <coughs> and then day 18 was a plain card. And I have some really pretty washi. And I just stuck it on a plain card. Made myself a little pocket to slap in. And... I'll probably do something up here, but I just liked it because I didn't know what to do with the playing card. Um, I might pop in a memory or something of playing cards just to tie it together. And then this day was lace and, whoops, apparently I've got some corners. I have this beautiful lace washi. So I made myself a little pocket again, put a piece of card into journal on. And then we have the paper clip, is it? Yeah, die 20. So I made this little paper clip with a paper clip and a simply gilded bow. And then I'd got a bunch of bow paper clip stickers. So I stuck them in and I'll leave, I'll just probably do my top three of the week or the day. And I'll just put some cute stickers and washi down. And this day was junk, so what i decided to do was there's this we got this pencil board in the simply gilded subscription box and i looked at it and it's pretty but i'm never going to use it and i just thought to myself it's a piece of junk like you know so i found a use for it and then um i think it was last year um the rainbow washi set that you got from simply gilded um came with this little to-do list so it's got 10 and I'm probably going to list 10 things that I want to do or 10 things that I want to declutter. So there we go. And then we have day 22 and it was buttons. So I'm sure people have seen the button art that's floating about and mine is nowhere near as good as theirs. But I just took stuck two little buttons and did a little as well a stick person and that was meant to be a dog but it looks more like a cat um so i decided to make this into my niece because she's obsessed with cats and i'll probably again write a little memory down and then day 23 was vellum and there's a running theme i love simply gilded guys um yeah so i just tore some vellum off and made a little pocket and a piece of paper to yeah journal on <laughs> now this i think this is one of my favorite pages that i made um the it was ribbon and i wanted to do a big bow and stuff and i thought i'd do it on some acetate um so i stuck it in using washi and i did it on both sides <coughs> and then i just cut out a big oval shape stuck a big ribbon on a few stickers and I'm going to journal or add a photo there. And then 
what day are we on day 25 was tag so I got this gorgeous tag in my pink room car order and it's just a thank you for your order but on the back I added a little bit of washi and again I can journal there and this day was card so I made a cute little card and I will either again it's all photos and journaling isn't it so yeah I will definitely personalize the front a bit more and fill it in and I just stuck some washi around it and again simply gilded now I think this page is probably one of my favorites just because um the day was flower and my sister um my younger sister me and my older sister I'm sure you've heard me mention we organized the baby shower and stuff and she brought us some flowers to say thank you so I stole a, a couple out and have flattened them but they're still drying out but I, I didn't want to wait so these are from like my thank you bouquet of flowers off my sister which I really really love um I stuck a little butterfly and these are just post-it notes these are dotted throughout the spread um, and some stickers. I just wanted to do a little scene and then I can journal here. Um, this day <laughs> was fabric and I've been decluttering and I've recently changed the colour scheme in my bedroom. So I had, if any of you have seen the Ikea like square drawers, so I cut a piece of fabric off, made this and I've literally just made a little pocket and I've just, again, somewhere to write the title in of whatever I do. And a piece of card that I attached some washi on the back to. And I liked how that framed it. So that's why that's like that. Um, but yeah, so I'm really happy with that. And the reason for the paperclip is because this piece of card kept slipping out. Um, and then 29 is glitter. But it's also Lexi's birthday, the 29th of March. So... Like, I've written happy birthday, Lexi. I can't see if... You, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Um, but I've stuck some balloon stickers and a little celebrate sticker. And her two favourite things are ice cream and cake. So I had to put them. And to incorporate the glitter, I made a little glitter shaker pouch. Um, and I framed it with some glitter card. So, hold on. I don't know if you can... But it was my first time making a shaker. So... I was very happy with that and then day 30 was wallpaper now this is the same as my background and all it is is a roll of um, wallpaper that I've stuck to my table so I use that because that's what I had and then I've got this little unicorn poop die cut from crafty planning and it's plain on the back so I'm definitely gonna journal I'll probably add some pictures and then sorry guys my letterbox just went and then the last day is pen only so i drew some little flowers i'm not the best drawer out by any means um and i've just put goodbye march thank you for the memories because i'm hoping we're gonna have lots of memories because i double checked with my sister and a due date is the second of march so i don't know where i had the 21st from guys honestly uh, well, I do now. Apparently, um, if she's induced, that's probably when they're going to induce her. So, and then on the back here, I just got a self adhesive pocket, and I've put some vellum on, and I can keep my pictures and stuff in there. Um, and then I made a little pen loop with some leftover vellum because I want to use this pink jelly roll pen, which I got in another simply gilded box so that's pretty much it i'm not sure how long this video has gone on for so apologies but i'm really happy with how it turned out because a lot of people are like very like use all the vintage and stuff and it's beautiful and i love watching it but it's just not my style if that makes any kind of sense so I wanted to do a junk journal, but I wanted to do it my way, so I'm hoping that that's what I've done. Um, but I'm definitely going to be posting pictures to Instagram and things like that. So, yeah, definitely keep your eyes peeled. Um, but thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please let me know, because obviously 
this is a different style but if people enjoy it then i will definitely keep it up so thank yeah guys thank you for watching if you liked this video please give it a thumbs up and it would be amazing if you decided to subscribe and i'll see you on the next one bye